next morning and we stayed overnight at the drive-in movie theatre. However, in another stroke of luck, we've had a bit of problem with our step. It's been sticking out and we can't get it back in. But Martin, the owner, and you can just see these legs down here, is also an electrician. So he's with Gary trying to help suss why we can't move the step back in. You haven't we, Gary? Well, what's we, the issue? We haven't. <laughs> Martin, <laughs> Martin <did>. has. <laughs> so what's uh, the full issue? The motor, the step motor has blown. So we've got to try and get one of them now. Yeah. Um, but at least we know what the issue is, don't so, we? Yeah. And when, once we get it, I can fit it. That's not a problem. So. Okay, Pat. Oh, yeah. It's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Feel that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Martin. Oh, four hours later. <laughs> It's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. We're going to spend another night at the movie theatre, the driving movie theatre. It's wonderful, yeah, isn't it? That's great, isn't it? Look at where we are. We know a load of you watch us on the big screen, but how's this for a big screen, everyone? Look what they're playing here. So we're just leaving the uh, drive-in movie theatre now. We had a right old laugh last night with Martin, didn't we, Gary? Great. We really did have a, such a good night. I'm a bit hungover today, but I've had electricity, so I've been able to dry my hair. All these exciting things happening. So we're going to go into Barstow now. The whole town of Barstow has really bought into the whole Route 66. And uh, McDonald's is no different to that. We're going to go into this McDonald's, not least because... Uh, we had a skin fall last night and there's something nice about having a, a bit of junk food. But look, Barstow Station. This is the old Route 66 station. Brilliant. Really? There's, there's Subway. And then McDonald's is like this, like a train. They're hiring $16.90 an hour. And inside, they're like little train carriages. How fantastic is that? Look, we've got the old Ronald McDonald. Him and Gary are best of buddies now. shame because it's definitely a drive to make Barstow much more of a destination but there's an awful lot of shops over the road that are all boarded up. Just outside of Barstow there is the Mother Road Museum but unfortunately it's only open Fridays and Saturdays 10 till 3 and Sundays 11 till 3. Now today is a Tuesday so we won't be able to have a little look inside it. Just next to the Route 66 Museum, the Mother Road Museum, you've got a railroad museum, some old railroad engines out here. So the Skyline um, Drive-In Movie Theatre is just there and literally over the road there is a compound with some cars but Gary what are these cars? So for those of you that are Mad Max fans you'll recognise in here some of the vehicles from the Mad Max films and some from the Thunderdome and some from other ones. But in particular, this this uh, motorbike here with the sidecar that fired out the sort of the javelin arrows. So there's the I-15 here, driving up to Las Vegas. And then here you go, on the left-hand side, you've got the disused water park. Ready for the water park or what? Oh, no. Come on, I've been waiting ages. <laughs> 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 Quick look around. Um, there's there's like fence posts everywhere, so I'm not sure you're supposed to, but we're not going to touch anything. So if you're the owner, we'll look after it. It's a real shame, isn't it, that it's um, in this condition now, Gary? It is. But the, the history of this place really is it was in its heyday in the 70s. Yeah. And then in the 80s, it, it declined a bit and then closed down. But then somebody... Um, tried to reinvigorate it in the early 90s uh, but it lasted about six years and then one of the employees sued the company presumably for an accident or something like that mm -hmm. and then it went out of business again what a shame they went bankrupt didn't they yeah. oh gosh i mean some of it's pretty grim and i've got to be honest with you it's got a bit of a horrible smell and obviously they don't really probably want people coming in here but it's so interesting wow and here we have what would have been the lazy river and up here, look, you can see where all the slides were. Just loads of stuff here. I mean, I don't know why people have to do graffiti like that. I mean, honestly, grow up. Do the proper nice artwork like Banksy, for God's sake, if you're going to do it. And this is one of the issues when uh, Route 66 was turned into major highways. A lot of businesses went out, went bust. You know, they were reliant on the traffic from the Route 66. And so for those guys, 
they no, they no longer had the income coming in. In 2017, a group of friends, including Waiming Chen, bought 36 acres of desert next to the I-15 freeway. Chen christened it Liberty Sculpture Park and told reporters its purpose was to champion the human desire for freedom and to condemn the oppression of Chinese communism. The Giant 64 represents the Chinese date writing convention where you put the month followed by the date. And June the 4th, 1989 was the date of the Tiananmen Square massacre. The sculpture is 6.4 metres tall and it's 6,400 miles from the site of the Tiananmen Square massacre. And you may well remember this iconic image from that terrible time. We've come to the iconic Peggy Sue's Diner, a very retro 50s style diner. We can't wait! We've just come to Peggy Sue's Diner and look at the entrance. So it looks like in a movie theatre, there's Betty Boo. And uh, you get a pager, and there's a little bit of a wait, so you go and wait in the gift shop. So we're going to have a look in there, and then we'll get called through. Really for sale, including loads of Marilyn stuff. really savvy because they give you the little thing that's got to vibrate but they send you in the shop where there's loads of stuff you want to buy so I reckon that's quite a savvy move you're going to, you're going to be here for ages before you can get called in and, we, and you're getting more and more staff in so you can probably order more food I reckon that's the business model amazing ice cream choices bubble gum cotton candy all sorts of really lovely flavors We've just been seated um, it's not too uncomfortable, the table. It's not mega comfy either, though, are they? You know, slightly hard backs. They're all like that, aren't they? And them stools, them 50 stools, crikey. No wonder people can hardly walk nowadays. Um, but, but it's really great because there's, there's loads of memorabilia on the walls, loads of pictures. Um, it's lovely design. There's so much of it, isn't there? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? So I've just got the menu. It's seen a bit of better days, to be honest. It needs a bit of a white. So I don't really like that, but they're really busy today. So Gary's going for the King Kong Monster Burger. Actually, the prices are pretty good. I'm going for the normal hamburger, is it? Yeah, 50 style uh, hamburger, cheeseburger, 12.29. That comes with two sides, fries and um, coleslaw for me. And, uh, and you're going to get the Monster Burger, the King Kong. What's, what's the difference then? Um, $1.25. Oh, the, the price by all cows. <laughs> it's probably a bit bigger. And we've ordered some chocolate milkshakes. We don't know if they come like this, but this is on the table. Isn't it nice? Um, I've got chocolate. He's ordered pineapple. So we've both got a chocolate milkshake. Well, no, he's got his pineapple one. What's it like? That's really nice. Is it? Yeah. So they give you also what they mixed it in, which is what it's made with real ice cream, but they put like this like load of cream on. So I've had to take that one off. Oh look, she's took it off for me. Thank you. So it looks like this. This normal one. Good, oh, we're taking our orders and look, they always <laughs> dress in the outfits as well. Look how fabulous they look. So here it is, it's pretty good. I've just got their normal cheeseburger, but it's not a small portion and Gary's got the King Kong one. Oh, he's got lovely onion rings. Oh, I shall be nicking one of them. <laughs> Honestly, absolutely brilliant experience in Peggy Sue's. Really recommend you come here if you want to see a bit of 50s nostalgia. And the food was really good and it wasn't expensive. The bill came to $44 for the two of us. And to be honest, it's not that much dearer than going to McDonald's or something. Fantastic. That was it for a brilliant 50s style diner with great food isn't enough. There's these outside in the garden and there's all sorts of bits and pieces. This is called Peggy Sue's Dinosaur Park. Up the road is 
not in great condition and we run parallel with the 40 that's over there the main road most of the truckers go on but this is really joyous we're really loving doing route 66 here we go 66 on the road this is the route 66 roadside attraction the baghdad cafe apparently um, originally built in the 1950s <laughs> we can see that the National Trails Highway Route 66 is closed at Cadiz Road. So there's no through traffic east of Cadiz Road and we're gonna use the Kell Baker Road for I-40 access. But I think we can still get to I Amboy and that's, that's where we're headed now, the Amboy Crater. Okay, how's this for a park up for our second stop on Route 66? So we're at the Amboy Crater car park and we've just watched the sunset go down. There was one car here a second ago, but they were just having a quick look and they've gone. The uh, viewing platform for the Amboy Crater is just up there, as you can see, but there's nobody here. We're the only people at the Amboy Crater and we've got a couple of chairs out. Oh, Gary's gonna try his drone. It's absolutely magnificent. So in terms of facilities, we've got a toilet and inside the toilet, there are um, bins. It's immaculately kept. So if you do come here, which I do really recommend, please keep it nice and clean so that they don't ever take it away. This is um, BLM land, which stands for Bureau of Land Management. And when you go on a BLM land pitch, it's absolutely perfectly fine to stay overnight. Just come into Amboy. It's, uh, there's not loads around here, obviously, but here's Roy's Motel Cafe. Um, we understand that the cafe is not operating anymore, but you can get fuel here. On Cadillac with no wheels. How iconic is that? This is Roy's Vacancy Motel Cafe. It's the old sign and a fabulous Cadillac there in powder blue. The inside is very grim, to be fair. And there's a window that's open. Oh, what a shame. But this was the most beautiful car in its heyday. I really love the colour as well. And underneath it, there's all sorts of rubbish to be honest people have strewn bottles and stuff what's wrong with people now really roy's is um just a, a petrol station and uh, 6.99 for diesel it is and a little gift shop so there's a few little bits of memorabilia it's worth a little stop actually <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and right so there's these things called rattlesnake eggs. Oh. I nearly jumped out of my skin there. Oh my God. Right, well you show me what's inside it, but my God, it gave me a right old fright. What is it? It's just a little piece of metal, it's like a little washer and a rubber band and a oh. thing. So what you do is you twist it up. And be lucky, because I don't like being on camera. <laughs> well, I'll keep your face like, off it as much my as possible. I <laughs> do slide it in there. Go on. And then, listen, all you do is I still don't Why like it. I still don't like it. I know, I know, I know I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god. So if you come into Royce, you can pick up a rattlesnake thing. I don't want one. <laughs> See, now, you, now you're going to point out the, the trick of it. Never even We left Royce and there were some detours that we had to take because some of the Route 66 has been closed off. We're back on it now. And this is the very first original Route 66. And we're heading up to a place called Goffs little town of Goffs and you've got the old schoolhouse Goffs School sorry Goffs Schoolhouse and uh, the original schoolhouse was built in 1883 come in there's a Route 66 passport stamp kiosk isn't there Gary so Gary's just gonna stamp the little booklet that you can pick up from outside oh, have you found a stamp Oh, there you go. That looks legit. <laughs> <laughs> Rounds are open from 9am to 4pm for self-guided tours. Um, the schoolhouse is open Friday to Sunday, 9 till 4 as well. It's a school bell. Give it a ring then, Gary. Oh, time for school. Oh, God, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> We're at Heritage Square area. Very old US post box. Look at that, the old post boxes. This is called the Flywheel Cafe 
And these are flywheels, aren't they, Gary, by all accounts? Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. Mechanical ones here. There's belt-driven ones over there. This 1921 Buick has got a Route 66 number plate, if you can see that there. Crazy. Oh, Second World War Jeep. What did you call it? A Willys Jeep? Oh, Willys Jeep. Gosh, there's more bombs here. It's like a little track that you can walk around. It's all got little stones around it. There are a lot of signs saying rattlesnakes and things that we've seen, isn't there? Yeah. So we're a little bit ginger walking around. Look at these amazing cacti. That one's flowered. It's actually got, oh, it's got a bee in it or something. Have you got the donations box, hun? It's a, a Route 66 railroad spike. Oh, right, okay. Let's get a little donation for it. So you can sort of drive around it as well. There's a train in the background and the trains go on for miles and miles. An old petrol pump. Old school bus. There's loads of old bits and pieces to come and see. It's quite interesting, actually. And it's great that it's got a little drive through. Train's still going. And we've got to cross the railway tracks. Going over to the other side of the tracks, aren't we, Gary? <laughs> yep, we are. So we're leaving Goffs. That's actually worth a little stop, to be honest. And it's right on your way. This is Needles on the 66. We've just seen fuel in two places for 7 99 for diesel a gallon. It's really expensive. But we know, and we're expecting it to be much cheaper in Arizona. Wow. We've just found the most gorgeous place to park up for the night. We're, in, we're still in California and we're in Needles. And we've come to a place called the Jack Smith Memorial Park. And it's a boat launch as well. Now, I found it on our eye over lander and we will be leaving early in the morning, sort of by about half eight. But it's right on the river. It's free park up again. And uh, there's toilets here. There's bins all over the place. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's a beach down there. Here's the Colorado River, and you'll see this absolutely stunning mountains, all red rock in the background. And that is Arizona, over the other side. And here, this is our last night in California, the sun setting here, there's the van on the car park, there's palm trees, just perfect.